Hey everybody, Dave Neal here, Bachelor Recap host and stand-up comedian. Well, it's official. Blake Moines, or is it Blake Moines? Moines? Blake? Canadian's Blake is in New Mexico for Katie Thurston's season of The Bachelorette, which airs June 1st, 2021. You know what's crazy? Let's just jump right to the uh, info here. What's crazy is we had this video yesterday. Third time is the charm. Will Bachelorette's Katie Thurston have a past contestant on? And come on, no one thought it was true. It was just a speculation. The only reason people were speculating that Blake might be in New Mexico is that he wasn't on social media for a week. So people were starting to wonder what was going on. One of his friends said they texted him and it kind of bounced back, you know, when the text doesn't go through and someone's phone's out of service or off or didn't pay their bill. Looking at you, Steve. Pay your bill. What are you doing with Sprint? Get a job. I'm kidding. I have Sprint. 65 a month. I'll take that over you, Verizon. When I switched from Verizon to Sprint, Verizon was like, look, you're not going to have as good a coverage. And I was like, good. I don't want people to call me. Every time I get a phone call from someone, it's never good news. Leave me a phone call. Actually, if you guys want, leave me a voicemail. Uh, I do a weekend voicemail number 401-213-9828. That's my voicemail number. Make it under a minute. Leave a voicemail. Share some good news with me for once. Don't compliment me. Share me some good news from your life. I'd love to hear about your life. All right, let's jump right into this story. So as we have here, posted by Us Weekly, you know me, Dave Neal, get my news from Us Weekly, Blake Moines, 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 Canadians Blake spotted on Katie Thurston's Bachelorette set after competing on Claire Crowley and Tasha Adams season. Third time is the charm. So, you know, it wasn't right for these, uh, for these hopefuls there, but he did have a good connection. He had good charm. As I made in the video uh, yesterday, you can watch that. We talked about his hockey player energy, big puck energy, BPE. Yeah, you know me. Uh, <clears throat> Ring around the roses, Bachelorette alum Blake spotted on the set of Katie Thurston's season of the Bachelor of the ABC dating show. Ben Higgins and Ashley I confirmed on Thursday, April 1st, that the former Season 16 contestant 30 is currently on location in New Mexico. Uh, So this is what uh, she had said. A lot of you were speculating because of his silence on social media over the last week or so that perhaps he joined the season. Ashley said on the Thursday episode of Almost Famous, we here exclusively have got the pictures to prove it. We did it. We confirmed it. Then Ben joked, Ashley crawled underneath the gate, walked through the resort, grabbed a couple of iPhone photos, and came back to the studio just to give us this update. Listen, I wouldn't even put it past her at this point. Obviously, he's kidding. But gosh, if I was, let me tell you something. If I happened to be driving through New Mexico and I saw a film set and I walked up to it and I saw that Blake was there, you're you're, you're damn right I would be uh, taking photos. I want to break that story. Absolutely. Blake's got some good, like, bear energy to him. We know he works in the wildlife. Let's see if he can tend to Katie's fire. I think, I, you know, the question is, is, is his personality too big for her or is her personality too big for him? They could be a lot of fun. If he's just being spotted now, if he's entering late, he's not entering too late, she said, noting that the first cocktail party after meeting was filmed on March 22nd. He's probably entering after the third row ceremony. I would say this looks like he's going onto a one-on-one or he's just entering. All right, so we'll look at the photos and you can see uh, it's definitely an interesting uh, thing happening there. Uh, um, He is, Blake is a wildlife manager Uh, cut before Adam's hometown dates and after his first one-on-one date with the uh, California native. Uh, So um, you just naturally think about the what ifs and you're always going to until you get closure. Blake told us weekly in December. And I know that's why I asked the questions I kind of did at the mental all. And I wanted her to kind of give me the answer of you're not the one for me. It, it wasn't just time. You know, I love the, what the men's tell all because everyone has the same questions. They're like, look, you know, everyone's remembering what, did I say something wrong on this date? Did was it, what the shirt I wear? Did it because I didn't have socks on, you know, everyone's wondering all these questions. And then it's, uh, and then it's good closure for uh Tasha to be like, look, it just wasn't the thing for us. You're a good guy. It just wasn't me. You know what I mean? They're obviously most mostly good men. Looking at you, Yosef. Most of them are good, decent men. You know, good charismatic guy. Some of them are brought on for drama. Some of them are just good dudes. Um, she, he said he didn't really get that, but you know, I've moved past it now. I think she's happy where she's at. And you know, things play out the way they should. And I believe in that. But as we've all said, I mean, Blake, he's got the type of personality that might work well with Katie Thurston. And you know, maybe not, maybe not. But at the, you know, at the very least, they look cute in photos and that's half of a relationship. Let me tell you something. You got to look good in photos. If you and your partner don't look good in photos, good luck surviving this Instagram world. I'll tell you that. Uh, Blake was vocal. I'm kidding, but I'm also not. He was vocal about falling for both Crowley and Adams and will be reunited with one of his former flames during season 17 of the ABC show. 
Uh, wait, he'll be, oh, that's because, of course, all right, I didn't understand that, but of course, Tayshia is co-hosting. The network announced in March that Adams and Caitlin Bristow are talking, uh, taking over as co-hosts for the new season of, as Chris Harrison steps back. The longtime Bachelor Nation host, uh, 49, took a temporary leave, and this is where they, you know, ramble, you know, as I'm accused of doing all the time, sorry, I'm rambling, and this free content I give you, God forbid. If, if Blake is a suitor on the upcoming season, he will be vying for Katie Thurston's heart following her elimination on Matt James' season of The Bachelor. The Washington native, Katie, was named the first of two bachelorettes along with Michelle Young, who will be lead on this season 18. Um, but that, uh, what else can we say? There he is. That's like a Sasquatch photo. Let's do a let's do a Bigfoot big foot photo. Let's see if we can get a Bigfoot photo that looks anything near what we have here for him. <laughs> That's it. That's the Bigfoot. Well, let me open this. Uh, open image in large tab. I think we have it. That's uh, You heard it here first, folks. Blake oh, is a not Blake is not just a wildlife manager. Hold on, I missed it. There it is. There's Blake. And then let's just pull this off to the side here so you guys can see that here. Here's the side by side of Blake. I'm doing it on the fly, folks. The side by side. This is listen, let me tell you guys something. I don't know if you know why you watch my content, but it's for this moment right here. And people go, oh Dave, you know, we don't like it when you ramble. You ramble till you find out that Blake, okay, you heard it here first, folks. A lot of people have been wondering, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna patch this up real nice. A lot of people have been wondering what the connection is between types of footing that may exist. Hold on, we got some editing problems. So here's Dale's toe. Egyptian toe, 45 degree angle. How is Dale Moss connected to the Illuminati? Well, I'll tell you how, folks. Uh, through a castmate from Canada who claims to be a wildlife manager. Oh, could this be a Bigfoot himself who maybe graduated Jungle Book style from his little Sasquatch community, makes his way into Albuquerque? Now he's vying for Katie Thurston's love? I think I'm lightheaded and making no sense. Anyway, folks, to say I digress would be an understatement here. But you see what's going on. I'm killing time. It's Good Friday. All right, folks. So there he is. A couple other photos. Um, you know, this is what happens when people say, oh, you know, like, I watched the show and he's, he, he, was, uh, he was a villain on the show. It's like, look, you see how many people are there behind the scenes? It's a TV show. They create storylines. Sure, like he can give them whatever big puck energy he's got. Hit the goal, slap stick it, she'll grab it. Roughing the passer. Uh, that's high sticking. <laughs> high sticking is when they bang on a stool. Right, folks? Okay, come on now. Wow. Here for the hockey puns. Um, puck puns. So anyway, yeah, this is it. This big thing right here. The other side of this is white, which means they use the sun's natural light to bounce off of that and gives you good lighting. Come on, we all know this. There's two camera operators, this guy, and then someone over here. This dude's in charge of the rigging. They're all union. He's uh, getting paid a lot to just pretend like he's doing something. And uh, someone over here is behind the scenes uh, snapping away these photos. So there he is, wildlife expert. Here's another a fantastic shot. Uh, these are C-stands, which are used to clamp for quick rigging. Nobody cares. Worked on a lot of TV shows. And uh, there he is right there. His uh, signature goatee. They say it's a goatee, but technically it's a beard. I don't know why they call it a goatee. Um, any other photos from him? So who took the photos? That's what I want to know. We got a little snitch on the set. Please send me a DM on Instagram. I'd love to get a few more photos of Dale's toe. I mean, of uh, Blake's toes. You know, I, I, I peg him for any, uh, you know, it's obviously you can't tell right here, but I peg him for maybe a Roman toe type, but who knows? We'll have to see and find out. All right, guys. Well, let me know what you think of all this. And if you haven't already, go check out this other video. I've got my vlog up on the vlog channel, Dave Neal Vlogs. And if you wanted to watch yesterday, I don't have the image pulled up here. Let's see if I can find the image. Yesterday, we created a Bachelor in Paradise dream team. I think this is it. Let me pull this onto the screen here. A Bachelor in Paradise dream team. We deliberated like jurors for an hour and a half. We had like an 80-minute podcast or a YouTube video live stream yesterday. I took everyone's phone calls and messages, and we debated on who we wanted to be on Bachelor in Paradise. Kenny made the cut. John Paul Jones made the cut. So a lot of people wanted Jason Foster on, Blake, and even for the ladies, Becca Kufer, and they want her. Brittany Galvin, they want to bring her back. Queen Victoria somehow made the... Oh, why do I have... Oh, I have Victoria Fuller and then Queen Victoria. Uh, so double Victorias. Can we handle two Victorias? Let me know. You guys want to watch this video? Uh, go click over to that. It was yesterday's live stream. Thank you guys so much. Have a fantastic weekend. And as I said before, if you want, leave a voicemail. 401-213-9828. Leave a quick voicemail. Say hello. I'll play all your voicemails and we'll release it this weekend. Bye, everybody. Happy Easter.